Hello and good morning. I am in the middle of a workout at the moment. I'm out in my garage, if you can't tell. Uh, I have this little makeshift garage gym that when I don't feel like going to the gym, I come out in my garage and I work out. I have a bit of uh, used workout equipment out here, some free weights, a treadmill, a spin bike, that kind of thing. So when I want to stay home and work out, I can. It's not much, and like I said, it's all used. None of it's very nice, but it gets the job done. And like I said, I am in the middle of a workout right now, and I just had some thoughts that I thought that I thought I would like to record and put out there that have been kind of on my mind for a while now. I just recently wrote a blog post about why I love exercise. And I thought I would make a little video kind of introducing that blog post and sharing a little bit about it. And then if you find that you're interested in knowing more, you're more than welcome to. I'd love to have you check out that blog post because it goes into more depth about mainly one, one of the reasons why I love working out. Um, and just kind of to touch on that a little bit, I started working out about 10 years ago um, to lose weight, right? Isn't that why most of us pick up exercising or working out or some kind of, of movement is to lose weight? Back then, I was not very happy with myself, pretty miserable. I didn't have good reason to be miserable. My life was pretty good and is still, but for some reason, I was not happy. I wasn't happy with myself. I, of course, wasn't happy with my body. I was dealing with some depression, some anxiety. You know, most of us are these days, it feels like. Um, those are pretty hot topics, and I was no different than most of you out there. Um, so I thought, I need to lose weight. That is gonna fix my problems, that's gonna help me feel better, it's gonna help me be happier with myself. Um, because I wasn't happy with myself and I couldn't really, I wasn't really sure why, but I was, I was determined to kind of figure that out and fix it. And I thought that would happen through losing weight. Well, it's been 10 years and I've lost a little weight. I've fluctuated up and down some, but for the most part, I've kind of just maintained my weight. And I'm not super overweight, but I could definitely stand to lose a few pounds, right? But as I got into just walking in the beginning, I wasn't interested in doing anything too crazy or heavy duty or whatever. It didn't appeal to me. It didn't sound fun. And so I just started walking on my treadmill. And as I got into that for a few days or a week or so, that became boring, of course. So I started running a little bit on my treadmill and I learned that I liked to run. Who knew? I didn't think I would. And the more I got into that, I started running outside. Um, I ran my first 5K. I was slow. I walked a lot of it. It wasn't pretty, but I enjoyed it. So I kept with it and I got running more and I ran longer races and eventually I ran a marathon, which again, I was super slow back at the, pa at the back of the pack and, and um, not, not fast at all. And that was okay. That wasn't my goal. It was mostly just to do it. And that was great. Eventually I had to quit running. I had some injuries and things and I got out of running. And during that time I did pick up triathloning, which was super fun and scary, but it was good. It got me out of my comfort zone and I learned a lot through that. And so over the years, over those 10 years, I have continued to work out and I have continued to desperately wish I could lose weight working out but it didn't happen. My eating habits weren't in the greatest place and I couldn't figure out how to help that. And so, you know, I was still struggling with other things and I think that's probably partially why I was eating, not great. But I stuck with the exercising because even though I wanted to lose weight and even though that was my main reason for exercising, I learned that I loved it and there was other reasons to like it. And I learned that it helped me in so many different ways and one of them wasn't losing weight, which I have learned to accept and be okay with because 
the things, other things I learned from exercising have helped me so, so much. And truly, I would not be, I'm so much happier now than I was 10 years ago, and I have learned to accept and love myself and love my body just as it is. And a big part of that is has come through exercising and seeing that even though I'm uh, overweight, somewhat overweight, and I haven't been able to achieve that perfect physique like I always wanted, um, I can do hard things and my body is capable of doing so much. And not just that, but I have gained so much mentally, um, emotionally, physically, and spiritually just through moving my body and finding ways that I enjoy moving my body. And I have, for the most part, let go of losing weight. I would still like to lose weight. Um, and I don't think that's a bad goal. I think mostly I, I want to just be healthy and feel good. And that's mainly one of the main reasons why I keep working out um, is it makes me happy. It is a mood booster. Um, every day when I work out and I get done, I feel good. I feel like I've accomplished something. And that's super important to me. And so I didn't lose weight. I wanted to, I didn't, but I gained so, so many other valuable life lessons and I learned to love and appreciate my body and myself in spite of not losing weight, in spite of my body not changing in a lot of ways other than gaining some strength and, and some endurance. Um, and I'm grateful actually that I haven't lost the weight because I don't think I would have learned those lessons and I would not be in a much happier, more mentally and emotionally stable place um, if I hadn't learned those lessons and, and stuck with the exercise in spite of not losing weight. So there's a huge takeaway there that I hope maybe somebody can get something from, maybe can be helpful. The other thing I would like to touch on is it's super important to find what works for you. Just move your body. For me, it was walking in the beginning. I couldn't fathom doing anything else beyond that. That didn't sound fun, it wasn't appealing, but I knew I needed to move, so I started just with the walking. And eventually, it moved on from there to running, to triathlons, to I love going to gym classes, those are one of my favorite things. Zumba, yoga, spinning, or indoor cycling, or kickboxing, or, you know, I've done so much. You don't have to be a runner. You do not have to run. If you hate running or you just don't see yourself running, don't run. Just because everybody else is doing it does not mean you need to do it. Um, you don't have to go to CrossFit. You don't have to have a gym membership. In fact, you don't have to have any equipment whatsoever. Go out, go for a walk, go hiking, Go swim, go out and play with your kids. If you love basketball, go find somebody to play basketball with, or if it's volleyball, or maybe, you know, if it's a sport, like go out and do whatever makes you happy, whatever makes you feel good. And if you don't know what that is, guess what? Me too, I didn't either, right? Walking was where I started because I didn't know what I liked. Um, so start doing something, there is, on the internet, YouTube, Instagram, Pinterest, you do not need to spend a penny on, on working out and getting in shape, except for maybe I would say buy some good shoes, some decent shoes. You don't even have to spend a lot of money, but you do need good shoes. Um, but you do not need to spend money on workout equipment, on a gym membership. I promise you, just get moving in some way and you will start to feel better. And it may be hard in the beginning. Hard is good. Hard teaches us lots of amazing, amazing lessons. So stick with it, change it up, try a bunch of things. There is something out there that will work for you and it doesn't need to be about losing weight. It may start out that way, but truly just moving my body and finding things that I enjoy makes me so, so happy. And it didn't come super fast, but it did come. And the more I stuck with it, the more I learned to love it and the more I learn to love me. And that is really should be the goal. You are capable, you are good enough, good enough, and you are worthy to feel good and to be happy. Everybody deserves that. I don't care who you are or what your life is, going, what's going on in your life or what is happening or what you've done or haven't done or whatever. You deserve to be happy. 
And exercising is one thing that I have found that helps me be super happy. So get out there, do something. 10 minutes a day, it does not have to be a lot. You don't have to crush yourself for an hour. 10 minutes a day, work up after that. Don't stress yourself out doing things that seem too hard or too much. Start small, just be consistent and you will make progress and you will find that it helps you feel good. It is proven that exercise, that movement of any kind helps us be happier. So if you want to read more about my thoughts on this and how it's helped me get to this place in my life that I was not in, check out my blog post. Thanks for watching. Bye.